Hi, welcome to my channel. At kung bago ka lang dito, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong math tutorial videos. In this video, you will learn how to grab quadratic function and identify the domain, range, intercepts, axis of symmetry, vertex, and the direction of the opening of the parabola. Again class, the graph of a quadratic function is a parabola. A parabola can open up or down. If ax squared is positive, it opens upward. And if ax squared is negative, it opens downward. And note, if the parabola opens left or right, it is not a function. Number 1, draw the graph of the quadratic function y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 1. So step 1 not in class. Find the vertex h and k and the line of symmetry by expressing the function in the form y is equal to a times the quantity of x minus h raised to the second power plus k over using the formula h is equal to negative b divided by 2a and k is equal to 4ac minus b squared all divided by 4a. Kung ang gagamitin natin ay yung formula which is mas madali kaysa mag-transform pa tayo from general form into vertex form, kailangan natin i-identify yung value ng A, B, and C. So A is equal to 1, B is equal to negative 4, C is equal to 1. Tapos, pwede na natin kunin yung H gamit ang ating H formula. So, substitute lang natin class yung B at A sa ating H formula. So, magkakaroon tayo ng minus the quantity of negative 4 divided by 2 times 1. And minus the quantity of negative 4 divided by 2 times 1 is equal to 4 over 2. And 4 over 2 is equal to 2. Pagkatapos, pwede na natin class kunin naman yung value ng K. Dito, ang isa-substitute naman natin ay yung value ng A, B, and C. Pagkatapos, isa-isayin natin para mas lalo nyong maintindihan. So, 4 times the quantity of 1 times the quantity of 1 is equal to 4. Then, ilagay lang natin, class, yung ating operation. Next, the quantity of negative 4 raised to the second power is equal to 16. Then, sa denominator, 4 times 1 is equal to 4. 4 minus 16 over 4 class is negative 12 over 4. And negative 12 over 4 is equal to negative 3. H and K is equal to 2 and negative 3. So, yung vertex natin is 2 and negative 3. Para naman class sa ating line of symmetry or axis of symmetry, since yung x is equal to h and h is equal to 2, therefore, x is equal to 2. Again, class, yung ating line of symmetry is x is equal to 2. Step 2, make a table using x values close to the axis of symmetry. So, ilagay lang natin, class, yung ating vertex sa gitna ng ating table of values. Pagkatapos, maglagay tayo ng dalawang value ng x sa kaliwa at sa kanan. Positive 1 and 0 sa kaliwa, 3 and 4 naman doon sa ating kanan. Then, step 3, complete the table of values. So, substitute lang natin class yung value ng x doon sa ating equation. Tapos, mamimili tayo ng value ng x na mas madaling i-evaluate or isolve. So, since class na mas mababa yung 1 and 0, sila yung gagamitin natin. Substitute natin class yung value ng 1 dun sa ating given equation. Kaya magkakaroon tayo ng 1 raised to the second power minus 4 times the quantity of 1 plus 1. Pagkatapos, simplify natin magiging 1 minus 4 plus 1. And 1 minus 4 plus 1 is equal to negative 2. And then, ilalagay natin class yung negative 2 dun sa ating table of values. At dahil yung graph ng quadratic function ay symmetrical, ibig sabihin class na parehas yung makukuha nating values sa left side at right side ng axis of symmetry. 
kaya gagayahin or ilalagay lang natin yung negative 2 sa right side. Next, substitute naman natin yung 0. So, the quantity of 0 raised to the second power, minus 4, times the quantity of 0, plus 1. So, magiging 0, minus 0, plus 1. And 0, minus 0, plus 1 is equal to positive 1. Pagkatapos, ilalagay lang natin dito sa ating table of values. At syempre, gagayahin lang natin class doon sa ating right side. Then, proceed tayo class sa step number 4. Step number 4, plot the points on a Cartesian plane, then connect the points with a smooth curve. So, unahin natin yung 0 and 1. So, since class x is equal to 0, so dito po yung x is equal to 0. And y is equal to 1, so move tayo class ng 1 unit pataas. So, dito po yung 0 and 1. Next natin class is 1 and negative 2. So, unahin natin class uli yung ating x. So, x is equal to 1 dito po. Pagkatapos, y is equal to negative 2. Move lang tayo class ng 2 units pababa. 1, 2. So, dito naman yung ating 1 and negative 2. Next is 2 and negative 3. So, ganun ulit class. From origin, move tayo ng 2 units sa right side. Pagkatapos, uh, negative 3 yung y natin. So, move tayo ng 3 units pababa naman po. 1, 2, 3. Ayan. So, dito po yung ating 2 and negative 3. Next naman is 3 and negative 2. So, punta tayo dun sa ating x is equal to 3. Then, y is equal to negative 2. Pababa po. 1, 2. At yung last natin is 4 and 1. So, 4 and 1 natin, nandito yung x is equal to 4. y is equal to 1. Move lang tayo ng 1 unit pataas. So, dito po yung ating 4 and 1. Then, connect the points with a smooth curve. Tapos, identify natin ang domain. So, always remember class, the domain of the quadratic function is the set of all real numbers except where the expression is undefined. At kung isusulat natin yung set of all real numbers sa interval notation class, ito po ay negative infinity and positive infinity. So, yung domain natin is always negative infinity and positive infinity. Yung range naman natin, class. So, range is the set of elements y such that y is greater than or equal to negative 3. Next, x-intercepts. So, to determine the x-intercept, we set y is equal to 0 and solve for x. So, yung x-intercept class, tinatawag din natin tong roots or zeros ng quadratic function. So, dito po natin siyang banda makikita dito sa ating graph. So, kung saan po nag-intercept yung ating parabola doon sa ating x-axis. So, yung x-intercept natin dito class is 2 plus square root of 3 and 0 and 2 minus square root of 3 and 0. Next naman class yung y-intercept. So, yung y-intercept natin is 0 and 1. And to determine class the y-intercept, we set x is equal to 0 and solve naman dun sa value ng y. So, makita naman natin class dito sa graph. So, ito po yung nag-intercept yung ating parabola sa ating y-axis. So, ito po. Okay, next naman natin is axis of symmetry. So, axis of symmetry is x is equal to 2. So, dito class, pwede tayong maglagay uh, ng imaginary line. So, ayan po yung ating axis of symmetry na humahati po sa gitna ng ating parabola. Next naman is yung ating vertex. So, kung mapapansin natin class yung ating vertex, Kapag yung opening po ng graph ay nasa upward, 
So, yung ating vertex class ay nasa minimum. Kapag naman class, yung opening ng graph is nasa downward, yung vertex naman natin ay nasa maximum. So, dito po natin class makikita yung ating vertex. Ito po. Next, yung opening of the parabola. So, nasabi na natin kanina class na ito ay opens upward since yung ating given quadratic function is positive. Okay, proceed tayo class sa example number 2. So, again class, so step 1 is find the vertex and line of symmetry by expressing the function in the form y is equal to a times the quantity of x minus h raised to the second power plus k or by using the formula. And since class nasa vertex form yung ating given, hindi na natin kakailanganin gumamit ng formula. Dahil madali na natin ma-identify yung h and k kapag yung ating given quadratic function ay nasa vertex form. Pero dahil class marami ang nalilito sa pagkuha ng ating h o marami yung nalilito sa sign ng h, lalo na pag nakita nila na katulad nito na x plus 3, akala nila class kagad na yung x or yung axis of symmetry or yung h natin is positive 3. So, para po hindi malito, pwede po natin gawin ito or i-equate natin sa 0. And then, apply natin yung ating addition or subtraction property of equality. So, pag in-apply natin dito, subtract both sides by 3. So, makukuha natin yung ating axis of symmetry. x is equal to negative 3 na hindi tayo class nagkakamali doon sa sign ng ating h. Okay, so yung vertex natin, makukuha na natin kasi meron na tayong value ng h and k, which is negative 3 and negative 4. So, vertex is negative 3 and negative 4. So, step 2, make a table using x values close to the axis of symmetry. Gagawa lang tayo ng table. Tapos, ilalagay natin sa gitna yung ating vertex. Then, maglalagay tayo ng dalawang value ng x sa kaliwa at sa kanan. Tapos, kukunin na natin, class, yung value ng y. So, complete the table of values. So, mamimili tayo kung ano yung mas madaling gamitin or mas madaling isolve na value ng x. So, this time class, mas madali syempre yung negative 2 and negative 1. So, ito yung gagamitin natin. So, substitute natin yung negative 2 doon sa ating given quadratic function. So, magkakaroon tayo ng negative or minus the quantity of negative 2 plus 3 raised to the second power minus 4. Tapos, Pag sinimplify natin ito, magiging positive 1. Kaya po meron tayong minus the quantity of 1 raised to the second power minus 4. Tapos, negative 1 minus 4 is equal to negative 5. So, ilalagay na natin doon sa ating table of values. Ayan class, so pasensya na mali pa po yung aking napaglagyan pero okay lang yun since negative 5 din naman po yung magiging value niya so lagyan na lang uli natin ng negative 5 doon sa kabila and then substitute natin class yung negative 1 so negative 1 plus 3 is equal to positive 2 and raised to the second power Magkakaroon tayo class ng negative 4 minus 4. And negative 4 minus 4 is equal to negative 8. So, ilalagay natin doon sa ating table of values. Ayan, mali uli yung pinaglagyan ko pero okay lang yung class. Nauna lang naman siya. So, pwede na tayo mag-proceed doon sa ating step 4. So, flat the points on Cartesian plane, then connect the points with a smooth curve. Negative 5 and negative 8. Negative 4 and negative 5. Negative 3 and negative 4. 
negative 2 and negative 5, negative 1 and negative 8. Then, connect natin. Tapos, uh, identify na natin yung ating domain. So, yung domain natin, ganun ole class, negative infinity and positive infinity. Ito naman sa ating range. So, y is the set of elements y such that y is less than or equal to negative 4. Yung ating x-intercepts. So, wala po. Kung mapapansin natin, hindi naman po nag-intercept yung ating parabola dun sa ating uh, x-axis. Parang naman class dun sa ating y-intercepts. Ayan. So, dito kasi class dun sa ating isang graph, hindi po kita na nag-intercept yung ating parabola. So, ginawan ko po dito yung uh, isang graph para makita nyo na pag in-extend natin class, mag intercept yung ating parabola dun sa ating y-axis. So, ito po. Banda rito. So, yung ating y-intercept is 0 and negative 13. Ito naman class yung ating uh, axis of symmetry. So, yung axis of symmetry natin class makikita natin sa x is equal to negative 3. Next naman class is yung vertex. So, nandito po banda yung ating vertex. So, negative 3 and negative 4. Then, yung opening of the parabola is opens downward. Since class, makikita natin na yung ating uh, value ng a is negative. Okay class, so kung may katanungan po, huwag po kayo mahihiyang mag-comment doon sa ating comment section. At kung nagustuhan nyo naman po yung aking uh, tutorial, huwag pong kalimutan class na mag-like, mag-subscribe, at mag-share. Yun lang po class at maraming salamat sa panonood. God bless.